distance to get a better quarterback. Kyle Brandt's Base Match, the podcast. Josh believes that, and I think that's what's motivating him. And that's obviously the first thing that has to happen is for Zach Wilson to get healthy, yep. to play, and play well enough for you to believe that, okay, we don't need that insurance policy that is Joe Flacco. Bart and Hahn, weekdays at noon Eastern on ESPN Radio and on ESPN+. Plus. Hello, it's me, the designer jeans in the back of your closet. What happened to us? I used to summer in the Hamptons, and now I'm stuck behind a pair of sweats. Okay, maybe I never really fit you right, but I got a lot more Sunday fun days left in me. So take me to Goodwill, where I can really make a difference. Your donations to Goodwill create jobs, training programs, and education assistance for people in your community. To find your nearest donation center, go to goodwill.org. Donate stuff. Create jobs. A message from Goodwill and the Ad Council. Sports Center All Night continues with Jay Reynolds. We're taking you to Key, Jay and Max, 6 o'clock Eastern Time here on ESPN Radio. Sports Center All Night, presented by Progressive Insurance. ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski reports the Cavaliers make a trade with the Jazz to get Donovan Mitchell. Utah will get Lowry Markinen, Ochai Abaji, Colin Sexton, and three unprotected first-round picks in that trade. So why not strike while the iron is hot here? Get a, a top-10 scorer in the league in Donovan Mitchell. Add him to a tremendous combo all-star guard in Darius Garland, and let's go for it. Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert, no longer in Salt Lake. Why is that? Jazz CEO Danny Ainge. What I saw during the season was a group of players that really didn't believe in each other. Like the whole group. I think they liked each other even more than was reported. I think there was, um, but I'm not sure there was a belief that they, and so I, when we got to the playoffs, I thought, well, this is a team that's had some disappointing playoffs, and maybe they're just waiting for the playoffs. He said you see a lot of players trying to do it on their own. Steph Curry, meanwhile, telling Rolling Stone that the Golden State Warriors had internal talks about acquiring Kevin Durant, and he'd love to play again with his former teammate, ESPN insider Brian Winhorst. Number one, I've never understood why the, the Durant pairing with Steph Curry was ever framed as anything but spectacular. Mm. They played together for three years. The first two years they won the title were arguably one of the greatest teams of all time during that run. The third year they might have won the title had Durant not had that terrible injury during the finals. That's number one. Number two, Steph Curry is in a complete career free roll moment right now. He is on top of the world. You can't say anything to him. He is the finals <laughs> MVP. He is a four-time champ. He has the freedom to say whatever he wants. So and Curry said he was never hesitant in endorsing the idea of a reunion with Durant. Sports Center All Night, ESPN Radio. Guests on Sports Center All Night on the Dr. Pepper call in line. ESPN Nation presented by Dr. Pepper. It ain't college football season without the delicious taste of an ice-cold Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Speaking of college football, after the loss to App State, one of the biggest upsets in Texas A&M history, Coach Jimbo Fisher was asked if he'd consider relinquishing play-calling duties. A head coach has a lot of duties during the course of the game. It seems like you have your hands full. Would you ever consider turning the play-calling over to someone to where perhaps the offense could be more efficient? It's time I would, yeah, possibly on. could. I mean, yeah, there's, uh, you always evaluate those things. And everything we do, evaluate everything we do. And it is a, it's a conglomerate of play-calling, too. I mean, we're getting information from everybody and thoughts and the ideas that we put down in those calls and what we do going in the game on our sheets is it's a, collect, it's a collective group decisions based off our offensive staff. Texas A&M, 103rd nationally in total offense after gaining just nine first downs and 186 yards against App State. Sports Center all night, ESPN Radio. Now for the top sounds from Monday. Let's turn to Kevin Winter. Number four. Jay, we start with what we knew would be a formality. It was just a matter of when. The Los Angeles Dodgers are officially going to the postseason this year. The final call on their win over Arizona from AM570 LA Sports. The 1-1 is popped in the air. Foul. 
First base line. Freddie Freeman's there. He's got it. And the Dodgers magic number is down to one as they have recorded their 12th shutout of the season. They're now 54 games over 500. Six to nothing over the Diamondbacks tonight. Number three. All right, Jay, now we go to football. And this is called top sound, not top plays. Because if it were top plays, this doesn't happen and make the cut. But because it's top sound, it does. This is one of two fumbles by the Denver Broncos inside the one-yard line, becoming the first team since 1987 to do so. Steve Rabel with the call. Seattle Sports, 7, 10 a.m. Third and goal from the one. Russ hands the ball off. The ball is out again, and the Seahawks fall on it. Williams fumbled. He's hit in the backfield. He fumbled. The ball is recovered by the Seahawks. Michael Jackson recovers the ball the second time he's recovered in that end of the field. And the Seahawks defense stops Denver again. Number two. Jay, we'll get back to the Monday night game in a moment. We'll go back to baseball, where for the seventh consecutive game, Mike Trout did this. Angels Radio, AM 830 with the call from Terry Smith. Here's a ball that's lifted high and deep out into center field, and that one is Trout of here. Mike Trout has hit another home run. Seven straight games he's homered. And that one ties up this ball game at four. Number one. Jay, the deciding factor from Monday Night Football, besides bad clock management from Broncos head coach Nathaniel Hackett, which kind of led to this decision. Brandon McManus from 64 yards out for the win. Again, Steve Rabel on Seattle Sports, 7, 10 a.m. With 20 seconds left, McManus off the left hash. This thing is going to be no good. It could have been long enough, but it was just to the left of the upright. And the Seahawks are going to win their opener. Seattle hangs on, beats the Broncos, and their quarterback, Russell Wilson, in a Denver jersey. Seattle wide receiver DK Metcalf. Actually going out there and seeing him in a, in a Broncos jersey was really like shocking to me. Um, I mean, I didn't think it was going to phase me that much, but just seeing it in person was, was really shocking. But Seattle does get the win, closing out week one of Monday Night Football. The big loss from week one. That's next. Sports Center All Night at TSPN Radio. J. Will and Max. There is a quarterback out there and would keep the Cowboys front page the whole time Dak is out. And his name is Colin Kaepernick. The guys will be back Tuesday morning at 6 Eastern on ESPN Radio and on ESPN2. The top headlines are next on Sports Center All Night. Stop buying tickets without rewards and start getting more from the only ticketing company that rewards you for buying Vivid Seats. Buy 10 tickets, the 11th is on us. That's like 10% back every time you buy. And with 100% buyer guarantee and over 100 million tickets sold, that's something to sing, laugh, cheer, scream, buy about. Head to VividSeats.com for terms and conditions. Vivid Seats. Life happens live. Kick off football season with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Join today to get started with $150 in free bets, guaranteed, when you place your first $5 bet. Just sign up with promo code PLAY to get in on the action. You can even combine your bets for a chance at a bigger payout with the same game parlay. Don't fumble your chance to get $150 in free bets, win or lose, with promo code PLAY. Make every moment more with FanDuel. Official sportsbook partner of the NFL. 21 plus in select states. First online real money wager only. $10 first deposit required. Bonus issued as is non-withdrawable free bets that expire 14 days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit fanduel.com slash RG in Colorado, Iowa, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Illinois, and Virginia. 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text next step to 53342 in Arizona. 1-888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org slash chat in Connecticut. 1-800-9-WITH-IT in India. 87770 stop in Louisiana 18778 hope ny or text hope ny 467369 in New York Tennessee redline 1-800-889-9789 in Tennessee 1-800-522-4700 in Wyoming or visit 1-800-gambler.net in West Virginia 
If you don't know your numbers, you don't know your business, especially in today's economy. But over 31,000 businesses do know their numbers because they use NetSuite by Oracle. NetSuite gives you visibility and control of financials, planning, budgeting, and inventory so you can manage risk and improve margins. Everything you need all in one place. See why NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system. NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to NetSuite.com slash stream. NetSuite.com slash stream. When you love riding a motorcycle, you want to ride it everywhere, even getting a dental checkup. Mr. Carter, wouldn't you prefer the chair? I'm fine on my bike, Doc. Well, let me know if you feel any discomfort. And when you love saving money, you want to save even more. That's why GEICO makes it easy to bundle your motorcycle and car insurance. All done, Mr. Carter. Remember to brush, floss, and lubricate your drive chain regularly. Kickstart your savings with GEICO Motorcycle. Bundle and save on the things you love. Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max. Rob in South Carolina. Man, why are you guys disrespecting uh, traffic, man? Don't call in here talking about I'm disrespecting someone. Then you can't remember their name and then you say the wrong name. Yo, Max, you know, you're disrespecting, um, uh... Uh, yeah, my grandma. So don't 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 tell me you're so high on Stafford you can't remember his name, and then you call him Stafford. GJ and Max, mornings on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Respect it. Or check it. With Kent and Carlin. Cooper Cup repeats as Offensive Player of the Year. Respect it or check it. I'm gonna check it. I don't think Josh Allen wins the MVP, but I think he wins the. Offensive Player of the Year. So I'm going to check that. I like the Offensive Player of the Year going to a non-quarterback. Mm. I want to respect this. I just have a hard time respecting it, honestly. And I do wonder, are those Matthew Stafford elbow issues going to affect Cooper Cup's numbers any? So I'm, I'm going to check this. The Bills or Rams sign OBJ. Respect it or check it? I'm going to respect it. When is he ready? Is it December? Who's got it? I mean, it's got to be Judge. Listen to Not Just Football with the Steelers' Cam Hayward wherever you get your podcasts.